What's up, Raptors fans? Welcome to the Warriors Report. The Raptors get a win against the Wall, 86-81, despite shooting absolutely terrible from the field. They shot 32.9% from the field, and they went eight minutes in the third quarter without scoring a single basket. But before I get into everything else, I do want to talk about Norman Powell, who is absolutely huge for us today. Norman Powell's been really stepping it up ever since he's been in the starting lineup, and just this stretch alone, he's been amazing for us. Scored, uh, got 31 points. He was doing a lot of good things, and at times it looked like he was the only one scoring. At one point, Norman Powell was the only Raptor scoring in single digits, so he we really needed his scoring, and he really stepped it up. Kyle Lowry was out again due to injury, and OG and Anobi did not play due to rest, so um, we really needed Norman to step up, and he did. He was absolutely massive for us today. Um, and we needed his scoring because Fred Van Leet had 12 points. Pascal had 10 points. So it's amazing how bad the Timberwolves are when your two main scorers scored 12 and 10 points and you still managed to win by five points. It was an ugly game. Let's not kid ourselves. Um, our defense really stepped it up, though. In the beginning of the game, it looked like we were just going to blow out the Wolves. We were up, I think, 15-plus points at one point, And the Wolves come back in the third quarter. You could tell the Raptors were really tired, fatigued legs, especially Pascal and Fred Van Vliet, who really struggled to score anything today. But um, at one point, we were just uh, not hitting any basket. And around the eight-minute mark uh, in the third quarter, we did not score anything until early, early in the fourth quarter. So we went to a span of 10 minutes without a single basket. And Ter Terrence Davis and Stanley Johnson come in. Terrence Davis hits a big basket for us. And we really needed him because he was absolutely massive today. So a huge day for Terrence Davis, not only because he played so well, but um, the charges that were pressed against him were also dropped today. But we'll talk about that later. But uh, Fred Van Vliet was really struggling. Pascal was struggling. And thankfully, um, Terrence Davis came off the bench and really helped us because everyone else was downright terrible. Baines, nothing. Matt Thomas, 0 from 3 from the field. Uh, Malachi Flynn who just got called up yesterday, was really struggling as well. Um, I'm not going to give him too much hate. He's been doing really well in the G League. But again, him, nothing as well. Just zero, it seemed like we weren't getting any sort of production from our bench. Our bench guys were really struggling. And we played Matt Thomas and Malachi Flynn pretty much the whole game. And fourth quarter comes around. And Nick Nurse finally elects to play Stanley Johnson and Terrence Davis. And thank goodness he did because we really needed their energy. Um, I've said this the last video too. If you've seen my post-game analysis of both the Milwaukee games, I'm just surprised why Stanley Johnson has not been getting minutes. His defense was huge for us and just the energy he brings sometimes. We really needed that. And Terrence Davis really provided some much needing, much needed scoring for us. Um, again, Terrence Davis, 11 points in the fourth quarter alone, which was huge for us. And he had that really big three where Pascal passed it to him about uh, less than a minute ago and we that put us up three. So um, Terrence Davis was absolutely huge for us. We really needed his scoring. Everyone seemed like we were really struggling. Fred Van Vliet was really jacking up shots. He had some really nice looks from the three. Was missing everything, though. Um, Pascal Siakam didn't look like he wanted the ball at all at times. He was obviously tired again. Both of them, Fred Van Vliet played 40 minutes last game, last night against the Bucks. Pascal, 37 minutes. So understandably, they were really tired. But Pascal's defense was really big for us in that fourth quarter. He had almost those Chris Boucher-esque blocks where he runs out to the three-pointer and jumps up and got a few of bl a few blocks like that and one at the rim. So his defense was absolutely massive, and we really needed it. And he did get some key buckets for us as well, although he struggled overall. He did have an impact on this game, and he really helped us. And he had that nice pass to Terrence Davis, which ultimately gave us the win. So that was really big for us. I do want to talk about how bad we played this game, though. So, like I said early in that third quarter, we were up huge. So, Fred Van Lee finally gets something going. He hits a couple of threes and is starting the third quarter. And after that, it seemed like we just hit nothing because the Raptors go on a 10-minute span um, pretty much the entire third quarter. At, after the 8-minute mark, we did not score a single basket. And we really struggled and ended up shooting 32.9% from the field, which is just downright terrible. But we also held the Wolves to 386 from the field as well. So we obviously did a good job defensively. You could tell they were just really tired. But thankfully, a few guys just really stepped it up for us. Norman in particular, Terrence Davis. And I want to talk about DeAndre Bembry as well, who got the start again. I thought in the first quarter, he had a nice start. Um, he was uh, There's a span of like a few minutes where he was just hitting everything. 
he dunked the ball, he got those layup, and then he had this crazy layup in that first quarter where he was looking for a foul. He kind of ran into a guy and threw it up and banked the shot. That was a really nice play as well. So just a good game by a few key guys. Overall, our team obviously struggled definitely a lot from the field, but um, we really needed to get this win. It put us at the 500 mark. We're 15 and 15 now, and we have a three-game winning streak, and we also needed to get this win. It's because it's the Timberwolves. Let's not kid ourselves. We didn't want to lose to the Timberwolves again like we did on Sunday, so that would have been embarrassing to lose to the Wolves again, especially after how well we played against Milwaukee Bucks. This was one of those, like, Jack Armstrong strides. Just a really ugly win, but we managed to still get it. But a uh, really solid win. Hopefully the boys get some rest. And um, we'll see We'll see what Nick Nurse does against the Philadelphia 76ers. So that'll be really interesting because, obviously, Joel Embiid, who dropped 50 points today, I don't know if he can play the small ball lineup. But it'll be interesting to see nonetheless because we have seen Boston do that, and they really just double-teamed Joel. But we'll see what Nick Nurse elects to do next game. But... Um, a really, really ugly win, if that's what I want to call today's game, because it seemed like we were just going to blow them out, and then we give up a huge lead, and offensively look like we weren't hitting anything at all. But luckily, um, Terrence Davis helped bring us back in the game. We were down like six, seven points in the fourth quarter, so he was huge for us. Only, also Stanley Johnson as well. Shout out to him. He had a really nice game defensively. He was doing a good job on Cat. Um, and his defensive energy is just really nice, and I'm surprised Nick Nurse didn't like to play him earlier in the game. And also just overall against that Bucks game, those two games as well, Stanley Johnson's energy is great. His defense is amazing, so we really needed that as well. So that'll be it for this video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time.